Today, I'm reacting to Migos Watch Collection. Before we get into the video, I want to say, enjoy the video. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, you don't. If you want to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you don't. Fair enough. Migos, Offset, Quavo, and Takeoff. They're, these are actually names. Turn the lights on, let's get started. What's up, GQ, y'all been asking? I brought the jury out, I brought the rocks out. This is what I said on, on the rocks. Yes, yeah, sir. Bow. What is he saying? Turn the lights on, let's get started. Turn the lights on, let's get started. I got that point. What's this guy called? Offset. This is what I said on, on the rocks. Yes, yeah, sir. Bow. But why is he saying he's on the rocks? That's what she was called, on the rocks. Oh, on the rocks. Oh. I really need to listen carefully to what this guy is saying. I thought they spoke English in America. I'm like, I'm through with the ice. I'm really stuck on the watches. Let me get my watch collection up. This is a Lemon's edition. It's a Richard Mill. It got two stripes because the Lemon's is a race. It's like 170. It go up in time. 170 is cheap. What you see here is a limited edition Richard Mille RM11 Le Mans or Philippe Massa, a watch that was limited to 150 pieces. How long ago was this? About two years. About two years. This watch is now worth a minimum of $290,000. At the moment, there's only two available in the world. So, unbelievable. Goodbye. Looks like a fing toy, though. Another Limon's edition, but it's diamond out, but it's factory. So, it's like 220. I know I'm struggling hearing what. Is, who is this guy again? Offset. I know I'm struggling hearing what he's saying, but he said Le Mans here, didn't he? Yeah. That's not Le Mans. This is an RM1101 Roberto Mancini. I can't see the metal of the case, but Roberto Mancini has been made in titanium. And as far as I am aware, not with factory set diamonds. So I have many questions. Um, what was his name? Offset. Offset. I have many questions. Like, that's not Le Mans. That's a f***ing Roberto Mancini. But it's diamond out, but it's factory. I have my doubts. I don't think that's factory. You can actually see the name Mancini on the fucking dial. What are you wearing? I'm currently wearing the Rolex Daytona reference number 116515. The rose gold chocolate dial Oyster Flex Rolex Daytona. Absolutely class. Value of $48,000. When you ready to have a bus dial, you should get like factory comes in because the, the value in your money still safe like a house. He is right in what he's saying. Got the rose gold paddock, like 120, iced out. <laughs> then we have this intelligent conversation with my accountant called Offset. When you ready to have a bus down, you should get like factory, it comes ahead. You need to buy factory and whatever. And then he comes with this bust down, bust up, busted, whatever, busted piece of and shit this is. That's a up busted 5980. And the 5980 is an anniversary Nautilus introduced in 2006 to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Nautilus, which is a very important watch in history, which he bust down, it's fucking worthless, and you fucked it. And you just said you need to buy factory shit. $120,000, fuck off. To be fair, the price of a steel 5980 is close to $120,000. But that's today, two years ago, it was like $50,000. So he's lying here, but now he's correct. But that watch is not worth $120,000. Nowhere near that. If you put diamonds on a watch like that, can you take them off? No. He can't take these diamonds off and make it look normal. Yeah, you can try, but you have holes in the f***ing case and holes in the bracelet. That watch is ruined forever. It's ridiculous. And all to show some diamonds, which are f***ing cheap in the first place anyway, because there's no quality diamonds on this. Because otherwise they wouldn't have been used for a watch. They would have been used for jewelry. And then when we want to get grown, I pull out the rose gold plain one. And that's a hundred bands. It's plain Jane, you know you wear this to a business meeting. I wear this to Vegas and I get stopped all the time from like the big ball players. They're like, what do you know about these watches? And that is nice. Ladies and gentlemen, that is nice. That's the same model as he showed earlier, but this time in precious metal, this time in rose gold. $100,000 back in the day. Today, we're talking at least one hundred and ninety dollars till about $210,000. Nice watch. I'm, I'm actually quite pleased to see that he didn't f that one up. That's a hundred bands. It's plain as you know you wear this to a business meeting. What is he f***ing saying? I pull out the rose gold plain one, a hundred bags. You know you wear this to a business meeting. What? You know you wear this to a business meeting. To a business meeting. I don't know what to make out from, from this. He types exactly the way he speaks. <laughs> Did you see that? I didn't see in the video that bust 
up, bust, down. Piece of shit out of my PK Royal Oak. But I do see a lovely Pearl Master, which is factory set. Fair play. Next, we're gonna take off. How do you come up with that name? My, my new stage name is gonna be Landing Strip. Take off featuring little landing strip. She's wearing a Rolex Day Day. That's all I can see. God forbid if somebody try me, I'm turning this shit to a crime scene birthday at midnight. There's a bag of money. There's women in bikinis, which I kind of like. I can't see the watch. I just can't see the watch. Looks like a Patek Philippe. It looks like a Nautilus. See a nice Daytona, like. That's a nice Rolex Daytona. Like the, it's very hard to see on this photo, but this looks like a rainbow Daytona, which is incredible in every way possible. Why do all these fing guys put money everywhere? What is that? What is that about? Yo, 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 little landing strip here. Little landing strip here on the rocks. What the fuck is that? He put a bezel on top of a bezel on top of another bezel on a Bretling Navy timer. What's wrong with you? It's a Bretling, mate. And this was offset? That was takeoff. And that was all of takeoff? Yeah. His watch collection is worth fing nothing. Quavo. Everybody been punching in their request for the honcho to come show his ice. Well, here I am today. Come skate with me, the ice guy. I don't understand him either. Come skate with me. Come skate with me. Right now, this is the two-tone padded, white and rose, pivoted all the way out. Everybody was going protect, 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 protect. This watch right here, rose gold, chocolate, sky dweller. This skeleton with the baguettes. Yeah, gold face, sky dweller, pivoted all the way out. I'm actually getting fing raging. Like, I mean, this is just fing ridiculous. This is a discontinued rose gold sky dweller. Fucked. An incredible Audemars PK double balance wheel skeletonized movement. Unbelievably important watch. Fucked. Another yellow gold sky dweller with discontinued dial. Fucked. This skeleton with the baguettes. This was like a hundred. You know that that watch without diamonds is worth close to 180,000 US dollars without diamonds, and he will not be able to get a hundred for it today. This is just pure fucking shit. Are we finished with Quavo yet? Because this is fucking ridiculous. There's a couple more, I think you might actually like them. This is a masterpiece. This is a 5723-112R, a rose gold Patek Philippe Nautilus with complete factory set ruby bezel and ruby dial. Fucking rare. This is special. I have never ever seen this watch in person. This is impressive. This is bonkers. As well, the price tag on that watch is bonkers. That watch is worth between $400 and $425,000. That's the price of a house or two. This is so unbelievable. Blue sapphires. Blue sapphires are rare stone. And in the bezel alone, there's 32 baguette blue sapphires. Factory set, full platinum 5711. Actual reference number of this watch is 5711-111P. This watch is valued between 550 and 600,000 dollars. It's good to see as well, and the photo that he doesn't wear his bracelets next to that watch. That watch is way too special for that. Because the bracelets will damage that watch. There it is. There it is. That's the Quavo we all know. This looks like a fake AP like. It looks so f***ing fake. It's bonkers. From all the Migos. This guy has the worst, but also the best collection. The two best Patek Nautilus you can buy nearly. Um, f***ing believable. These two Pateks saved the Migos. Here, mommy. <laughs> I wipe my ass with this every morning when I take a big shit.